Hi there. My name is Hibar's mom, and I'm here with a few friends of mine from grade 7. And my name is Dini. And I am Fariba. And I am Yara. And today, we'll be conducting an experiment. A science experiment for our STEM project. And it is called apple oxidation. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need for the experiment. An apple cut into 8 slices, 5 acidic solutions, Sprite, Pepsi, lemon juice, apple juice, and orange juice, 1 alkali solution, which is milk, and 1 neutral solution, which is honey. As our control, we'll include oxygen. To carry out the experiment, we'll use a total of 8 glasses and 8 plates or bowls. With me, I have two glasses, and I'm going to magically fill them with some 7-Up and Pepsi. Watch. Whoa, I wonder how that happened. Anyways, let's put these two glasses aside just for a few minutes, because now I'm going to be taking out my apple slices. I've already cut them and put them onto a disposable plate. They are fresh cut, so they haven't been oxidized yet. So. Here are my slices, and here are my liquids. Now it's time to oxidize them. So I'm going to take a nice little big apple slice, and I'm going to dip it in the Pepsi and leave it there for about 5 to 10 minutes. And I'm going to be doing the same with our Sprite. So in you go, buddy. So... I'm just going to leave this here for some time and I'm going to give you all the update real soon. Hello, my name is Yara and today I'm going to be presenting about apple oxidation. So here as you can see, I have apple juice and here I have orange juice and here I have two slices of apple. So I'm going to dip the first slice of apple and put it here and mix it here a bit. Take the second slice, put it in. So now here I'm gonna wait maybe for 10 to 20 minutes and then see if they're gonna change in color or not. So this is my part of oxidizing my apple. On my left side, I have honey and on my right side, I have lemon juice and there I have my cut up apples. So I'm gonna add the apple into my solution. First, I'm gonna add it into the honey. I am using chopsticks because I don't have anything else <laughs> to use. Oh. Now I'm gonna add my apple into the second solution, which is lemon juice. And I'm gonna wait five minutes. Then I'm gonna show you the results. Okay, so this is Dini doing my part. So I have two glasses. One is filled with milk and one is empty. And I have a few um, slices of apples here, but I'm only going to use two and the rest I'll eat. <laughs> so I'm going to take the prettiest slice, which is the prettiest slice. Okay, these two pretty slices and I am going to put them in the cups. And we will see how like what the differences are after five minutes see ya you can tell by the color of the apple slice in pepsi that it has started the oxidation process and i'd say about the same for the one in sprite however the ones that were left in oxygen are the ones that actually made real progress 10 minutes have passed and nothing really changed here do not really oxidize do not really change colors the color is still normal it's oxidized yet I don't think so it's oxidized yet I'm gonna give you guys update in the next 30 minutes i'm gonna wait 30 minutes bye okay so it has been five minutes and they are still well they have oxidized very little but otherwise we can't really see it properly i'm going to be taking this fork taking it out 
showing it to the camera they haven't really oxidized yet they're not brown I don't know if you can see it properly in the camera but there are tiny brown spots on the other side but well otherwise not fully oxidized yeah so that's the update and I'll be adding more time to this whole oxidation it's thing. about 10 to 11 minutes and I'm gonna be showing you all what the results of oxidation with these apple slices. 10 to 11 minutes, here are my results. The apple slice that was put into the cola made a huge change. It has specks of brown all over it, but I'm not so sure if you can clearly see it. So in a few seconds, I might, I'm gonna remove the slice from the cup. And here with the Sprite solution, the slice has made a few changes, but not that much compared to our cola over here. The ones that were left open made a huge difference. Like, as you can see, it has changed. It's turned brown now. I used some teaspoons to mix the solution to cover the whole apple. And it didn't make much of a difference. I did the same thing with both slices. Now I'm going to be showing you this, these slices up close. After a while, I came to check if they have changed in color, but they did not. Which means that the acid in orange juice is very strong, and apple juice is also very strong. And also, here's an example. Like, for example, when we go to shopping malls or grocery shops, always find like in, in boxes you can find like some sliced apples or sliced bananas maybe you can always find them like they're not brown it's because before they put it in the box they always dip it in maybe lemon juice or an orange juice so that it can stay not brown for people to come and eat it but when you taste it you might you might feel like something is juicy it's because of the taste of the acid juice or orange juice or the lemon juice that they put in and the color has still not changed yet so if you want to protect an apple from getting brown you can put it in orange juice or lemon juice or even apple juice or in water It's been five minutes and I'm gonna check if they're still oxidized or no. No, I don't think so. They're oxidized yet. I'm gonna wait five more minutes and for your information, those apples, I'm gonna eat them later. I'm not gonna waste them. It has been a total of half an hour and the, well... Not so much oxidation, I just think it's the type of apple that I... Now it makes me wonder what type of apples I've been eating. <laughs> so it's not really oxidizing much. Well, the ones in the bowl, it has oxidized. I just think it won't oxidize in this cup, though. So in this one, I don't think it oxidizes in milk since it's a thing. But it curdles, like there's some curdles on the thing can you see yeah see it's like there are like sharp looking bits on it so yeah that's the uh, half an hour update and i think i will stop here so i think it will be like this to end my experiment i'll be showing you guys a time lapse of about 15 minutes of these two apple slices put back into their liquids to show how oxidation actually happens because oxidation at times can be a process that takes about five to ten minutes but sometimes it may take up like a day or maybe even an hour or half an hour so i'm going to show you a 15 minutes time lapse this is 30 minutes after so the apple 
which I put in the honey solution is kind of brown and the apple which I put in the um, the lemon solution is yeah so brown so yeah that's it thank you it has been yet another five minutes there is no difference I don't think I'll be showing you fully there is no difference I think if I extend the like how many shots I'll be taking I think I'll be taking another one in half an hour yes half an hour see ya so have a look at these apple slices these two are the slices that were our control meaning they were left out in the open with oxygen to oxidize them and the other two were put into different liquids so as you can tell by the residue in on the plate this um apple slice was the one that was put into the cola and the other one was the one that was put into the 7 up now i'm going to show you a huge close-up that is our apple slice that was in cola now i'm not sure if it's going to be seen in on camera but in physical like with my eyes i can see tons of brown spots meaning this apple slice has successfully been oxidized whereas this one might still be in the process so it hasn't made a lot of difference so i'm just gonna let it stay in the liquid for a little longer while you guys enjoy watching the clips from my friends so it has been another set of five minutes i'm still here these apples are really stubborn the so um the one in this glass i'm gonna show you they are oxidizing i guess oh my god can you guys see they're oxidizing really well so there there are multiple brown dots on them so the one in here let me just flip it with a fork and i'll show it to the camera so this is this one it is not really oxidizing it is but it's not really if you know what i mean like it's not really oxidizing a lot there are still small dots on it but not really obvious through the camera's point of view so i'll be recording another set of five minutes after this I mentioned earlier i put this apple slice back into its liquid and i let it stay in there for about another two to three minutes and it did oxidize so i can actually say that all of my slices oxidized here have a look now i'm just gonna put it onto my hand and show you a little something that's actually pretty funny if you look at this apple slice you'll spot an eye another eye and a nice smiley face so my slice actually comes with a free smile well that's actually just the beauty of mother nature Hello again, uh, it's Dini here, and here I am, I'm going to explain the whole conclusion to you. So, the conclusion is that the apples oxidized more in the acidic solution than the alkaline solution. So, they oxidize more in oxygen, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. The acidic solutions were the lemon, orange, and apple juice, and Pepsi and Sprite and the alkaline solution is is milk just milk we thought honey was a property of the alkaline thing but it's actually neutral yeah neutral and a bit of acidic but that doesn't matter yes so yeah that is it for today and hopefully just for today <laughs> okay, bye. That is all, and I hope you all enjoyed our little experiment. Bye.